guys hi welcome to my channel it's donna and today i'm bringing you some junk journals um yeah it's a different topic to um what i usually do um you probably know me more for um going on about avon makeup or putting up videos of flowers and bees and things like that um those are things that do interest me but i also have an interest in junk journaling and I've been doing junk journaling for about a year now. I make them and usually I just give them away to members of my family. Uh, but I haven't got anyone to give this robot themed one to because there aren't any young boys or girls in my uh, immediate family. So I just made them for fun, really, just because I personally like robots. And I just wanted you to see, I've got three of them here. This was the very first one I made. Then I followed it through with this pink one because I wanted to try and do a boy's colour scheme and a girl's colour scheme. And then I decided to go back and do another kind of boys-ish um, colour scheme because I had lots of stuff to use up. Um, in fact, I've got loads of stuff. So I will be making more different colour schemes, slightly different style of robots. So let's get right into it now and have a look at this one. This one, um, the robot here is iridescent. Um, he's got a lot of glitter on. Some of the glitter is actually starting to come off the foam, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I think to prevent that happening in future, maybe I'll put some Mod Podge or something on to protect it. But I just um, basically embossed uh, a printed robot onto some um, EVA foam and then cut round it and just stuck it on with double-sided foam tabs. Um, this is just some um, neon coloured uh, post-it note and I've just stamped it up with some red and I've used things like um, technical packaging from, uh, you know, when you buy things like mobile phones or um, laptops or anything electrical, you sometimes get special kind of um, micro bubble wrap and things like that. So I decided to use some of that and I put it onto um, coloured paper. Right, so you can see that there. If you would like me to do an actual full tutorial from start to finish of um, some of the bits I've made for this, then, you know, let me know and I will do one for you. Um, but this is just my basic robot um junk journal and as you see when you open it up it's got some double-sided colored paper and some blank papers where you can just write things in or you can decorate them yourself i used a bit of stenciling um, some of the pages i left completely blank i didn't do anything to some of these pages um, as you can see i've left the black and the uh, graph paper completely natural no embellishments whatsoever. This one, all I did was put a sticker and some uh, stamping on it. And then I used some crinkly uh, material here so you can hear it. And then I've got some lined paper here, just ordinary lined paper taken from some old exercise books. Um, if your children have got exercise books that they've used at school and they haven't, um, done every page they haven't used every page and they no longer um you know they're no longer in that classroom anymore you may find that um you can take out the excess pages from the book without completely destroying the book so you can keep their original work in there and just take out the pages that you need um, and that's what i did i took out blank pages from her book um this one here as you can see i've used some communication paper I've used some um, metallic kind of leatherette and I'm just going to zoom in on that so you can see what I'm talking about. It's it's leatherette. It's been backed with double sided tape and then I used fancy scissors to cut the scallop. If you haven't got fancy scissors, just cut straight edges. I mean, that's perfectly fine. You know, just use what you've got. That's what I do. I haven't gone out and spent loads of money on special equipment um yeah so anyway here we go another page with a speech bubble so you could put something in there like hello um or whatever message you want to put in there 
Um, yeah, I've got a little printed robot here. And this, this stamp is actually still available. I've seen it on eBay and a few crafting sites. So I'll find the exact name of the brand and put the link in. So all of my videos, I try and put some links in there. I've used some uh, wrapping paper which had iridescent on it. So I just um, put that on. I have again used more little speech bubbles, stickers, more crunchy uh, paper, some stenciled arrows um, where you can literally do a to-do list or a memo. And you've got some cogs at the bottom. More bits of paper taken from exercise books, just glued down with a glue stick. Um, yeah, and in the middle, you can see this is the middle of the book now. I mean, you can add more pages. It's so easy to do because all I've done is tie it with a ribbon. So um, that can be untied very easily and pages can be taken out or added in according to your taste. Okay, so another printed robot. Now this one's a little bit more fancy. This page has got a few things going on. I've got um, a little um, sort of sticker. It's still got the double-sided tape on it, which can be peeled off and it can be stuck down on something. Okay, and that's just a lovely little singing robot. Um, I used two different colour post-it notes to, to get the neons. And then I stamped this little singing robot in black ink and then I covered it with some of that um, technical um, EVA or whatever you call it. It's a bit like a kind of bubble wrap and I just stuck it on um, and it gives it a nice tactile feel, which is nice for children. I mean, I like it. But, you know, if you are going to give it to a child, I would give it to an older child because it's not very, very sturdy. Um, you know, a, a young child would probably tear it to pieces. But, um, yeah, you're more than welcome to make something like this and just put the images you want. If you don't have rubber stamps, don't worry. You can just hand draw your own robots or, or let your um, child draw robots of their own from their imagination and colour them in and then you can help them to stick them down and cut round them. This is an article taken from a magazine called New Scientist and this, this was taken from a 2014 edition of New Scientist and it grabbed my eye because it's about technology and it's specifically about robots and robots becoming more human and becoming... Um, seen as our friend and how how that could come about so they could be used to a, you know in a communication center like this um yeah it's really interesting it's a, a proper article written by scientists and i thought it was really useful so i put that in there i'm always on the lookout for information about robots that i can include in my journal i've also done a thing called a belly band now up until a few months ago I didn't even know what a belly band was I thought a belly band was something you put around your belly um you know to hold your waist in <laughs> you know I really didn't know but um in the crafting world they do these things called belly bands and basically it's just uh, a piece of uh, material in this case it was um plastic and glassine and um, some exercise paper with some stenciling, some embossing and so on. But you can decorate them how you want. You can make them out of what you want. You can literally use magazines, anything you like, an old book and make them. And I just stuck them at both ends here and it creates a little um, place where you can tuck things in. So, you know, for, for example, you can tuck a little sticker in there maybe a letter maybe a memo to yourself or this really interesting article about robots um yeah so that's what i did there i stuck two pages together for firmness and you can do that you can stick pages together and make them as sturdy as you like 
here's another belly band I made and that was just using neon green paper and printing a black robot, two black robots and some cogs. But, you know, if you haven't got a rubber stamp and you want to get started, don't worry about it. Just start hand drawing if you're artistically inclined or if not, if you've managed to find some old books, you can cut pages out. If it's a vintage book or a comic, to be honest with you, I would be really reluctant to be cutting bits out. I'd actually rather remove the whole page and just fold it up and make it into um, uh, a news article which can be put into, um, you know, a belly band. This is a pocket I made from um, a grocery bag. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of a company called Getty. Um, I do some videos about them. Uh, they deliver products very quickly and I really like them. I use them a lot. And they've recently started delivering their products in brown paper bags. So I don't like to waste anything. So I use the brown paper bag and created my own pocket and made it look like it was stitched because I just cannot get to grips with my old sewing machines. I need to get a new one. So what I did was I just got an ordinary biro and just drew zigzags down the side. So it looks like it's been machine stitched. So that was what I did there. Okay, so you can see the machine stitching effect that I've done. Okay. I hope you can see that. It's quite tricky to, um, get the video right. I'm just using a, an ordinary mobile phone, nothing flash. Okay, and then you can see the background of the paper. It's just exercise paper with zap, 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 um, cogs, singing robots. He's so cute. And then just some ordinary brown paper. This is again, uh, the back of a, a paper bag, a Getty, a gift bag. Um, some more cartridge paper, which you can use for sketching or for decorating. Lines paper. And the beauty is, I mean, if the pages do get really badly ripped or anything, it's not a problem. You can just remove them or repair them or stick stuff over the top of them. Here's another article, again, from um, the New Scientist magazine. This one was also a 2014 one. And it's about a guy called Jesse Sullivan I think he lives in the US and he has no arms okay I'm not sure how he lost his arms whether it was through um, uh, an accident or whether he was born that way not really sure but he relies on robotic arms and I thought it was really interesting that this whole article is about um, robots and um, you know prosthetic limbs that are, um, you know, helping people to have more normal lives and for him to, um, you know, be able to participate in society more fully. And it says here that he's waiting for an upgrade. Now, this was done in 2014. So I really hope that Jesse does get his upgraded uh, arms. Um, if anyone knows whether he did, I'd be pleased to know. But I've put that in because that's a really interesting article. You know, people just think that robots are just a fantasy. They are real. People are using them in everyday life. And there have been some massive advancements since this magazine page was printed. So here we go. More graph paper. Um, and then another belly band an envelope for those of you who want to write a real letter to your friend or you know just put a little uh, receipt in there or some little knickknacks that you want to keep you can use it for keepsakes you can stick photographs in there um you know you can design your own robots either working ones or just um 2d ones two-dimensional draw drawn ones and as you can see i've put a little bit more texture this is some EVA foam with a robot stamped up and embossed with glitter. Okay, and then the back of it has more embellishments like enamels cogs, uh, um, blue acrylic fur, 
and corrugated card and things like that most of the stuff that i've got here was manufactured it was already pre-manufactured apart from these bits that i made myself and the printing that i did myself okay and then i just cut them out so that was that one okay i'm gonna go and show you the pink one in a second video so you so that you don't have to watch a really long video okay so see you in the next video